This video is sponsored by UnlockThatPhone.com. Unlock any phone, any carrier, worldwide. Visit UnlockThatPhone.com for more information. Hey guys, so I just wanted to do a quick little video, uh, I guess review and demo of the new AllCast app that was released uh, to work between your Chromecast and your Android device. Um, now, with the release of the SDK, of the uh, Chromecast SDK, uh, developers have been really able to dive into it. Now we're able to, most importantly, I suppose, um, we can start streaming local content from your device uh, to your Chromecast. Uh, now, I think this is a great start um, to this application. There's the app right there, AllCast, which is what we're taking a look at. However, as described by the developer, he considers it still in beta, and I would have to agree. This is a huge step forward, but it is definitely lacking in several areas. So let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, as far as setting that's concerned, um, literally all you have to do is download it, and, and that's it. Um, and then from that point, you can go ahead and click on the Chromecast or whatever um, media streaming device you have in the list. So, I mean, this doesn't have to just work with the Chromecast. This can work with your media players, um, all kinds of other things. So it's actually pretty cool, um, all the different functionalities that this application is capable of doing um, so as you can see you know if you go to all it'll show you all of both your pictures if we go over here to photos if I have any photos it was showing there and of course going over to video if you did have any audio there's a little tab up here at the top that you may or may not be able to see very well because of the white balance uh, but it's there I promise you and that'll obviously bring up any audio and things like that that you ha might have that you want to stream to perhaps uh, your TV which might be hooked up to a uh, stereo system and um, in which case um, you could have music that way which would sound amazing so I took a quick little video Video. Um, just with my Nexus 5 here, um, just kind of a quick little clip showing the uh, Sony Xperia Z1 in my hand there. Uh, so I just wanted to demonstrate, you know, how far we've come, but the length that we still have to go. So I'll go ahead and all you got to do is just simply click on play. Um, and that'll start buffering up as you can see the circle starting to spin around there. And as you can see down here at the bottom, um, it's starting to buffer as well. And that's all fine and dandy. I have no problem with that, but you'll see what I have an issue with in just a moment here. So as you can see, um, the quality is actually really good. The video quality is really good, even considering that it's being recorded on my Nexus 5. But that said, you'll notice that there's this buffering that happens like every few seconds. Now you might be thinking to yourself, well, what about your Wi-Fi signal strength considering the Chromecast um, feeds off of your home network? Aha, well, it just so happens that my wireless modem is literally two feet below this monitor that you're looking at right now. And as you can see, even with there being absolutely no reason why I should be having any um, uh, buffering issues right now in terms of signal strength or, you know, whatever, um, it's still buffering a lot. Now this isn't, I'm not the only person to make this complaint, and it's not so much as a complaint, it's more of an observation. Um, a lot of people have been noticing that buffering is an issue, uh, just playing videos in general. Um, audio will come through, obviously, if your video does have audio in it, I just have my um, display volume off right now. But this gives you a bit of an idea of how it works, um, the quality of it, uh, what it's capable of doing, and the fact that it actually does work, although not all that great at the moment. Um, but anyways, guys, that's basically it. The application's free in the Play Store. It gives you a one minute uh, free trial period. So if you want to listen to whatever it is, photos, music, videos, you only get one minute to do so. And if you want to um, get the premium uh, version to sort of unlock it for unlimited time, uh, it's going to be about just under under six dollars which in my opinion is really really steep considering especially the condition <laughs> the state that the applications in right now perhaps down the road it'll be worth that but um, for now um, I'm gonna stay away from paying for the premium until uh, he gets all of these sort of buffering issues worked out anyways guys I'll be posting a link in the description below so you can go ahead and download it for yourself and play around with it um, hopefully you like the video and if you did click that subscribe button or the like button um, that's it we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching guys cheers